I'm going to do another round of journaling by fives today. Um, just because I think it's, you know, a good thing to revisit from time to time. I was flipping through this. This is my favorite journaling by fives uh, journal that I have done. And I did it years ago with a group of friends. We all brought, um, we allowed ourselves, okay, truth be known, I allowed <laughs> one gallon size Ziploc baggie full of the supplies for each of the five steps. Yeah, there was a lot of grumbling about that. But I, I played along too, just one Ziploc baggie. And um, we didn't have a theme or coordinated colors or anything. So I thought, oh, this is going to be crazy. Because like the whole idea was to pass around the journals, you know, like I do step one, pass it to the left, the person to my left does step two in my journal, and then I work on someone else's, you know, that kind of thing, which was really fun. But it was totally random. And even with the randomness of the, the colors and styles that everyone brought, like I think all of our journals turned out really good. And mine ended up being, like I said, one of my favorites that I've ever done. Um, and I don't know if it's just the memory of the fun time with friends or what, but I, I just love it. I mean, like how can you not love that, <laughs> right? So, um, I want to do this again, um, not with a group this time, just by myself. And you can certainly do that. That's what I love about journaling by files. It's just as much fun in a group as it is on your own. And lately I've seen some folks getting together online and doing like a Google uh, Hangouts online with a group. And I'm going to mention several videos while I'm talking, and I'll put all those links down in my video description so you can go check them out. I don't want to waste too much time jabbering because, you know, we got stuff to do. Okay, what I've done, I've gathered my supplies. I'm using one of my, this is one of the blank journal inserts that we make for our custom keepers. So I have these in my Etsy shop. And y'all, when I designed these, I had journaling by fives in mind. That's why there's 20 pages. So it's perfect. The paper is text weight. So, you know, it's not a heavy cardstock. It's just paper paper, but it's thick enough that you don't have to glue two together. So it's ready to go. The cover can be painted or whatever you want. It is stitched bound. So no matter where you are, it will lay open flat. And okay, this is just a good journal for that. But use, use what you got. You can use, a lot of people I know prefer to use blank sheets, um, individual loose leaf sheets, which is fine. That's great if that's what you prefer. I like a bound journal because then when I'm finished, like I'm done and I have this whole book done and I've got a finished art journal and that's what I like. That's why I, I use the bound ones. But do what you want. Use any size paper, loose bound. Um, I've seen people do it on index cards and then big sheets of watercolor paper and everything in between. So there you go. Gather your supplies. I am using these bins like this. They're about, I don't know, nine by 13, I guess. And I get these at the Dollar Tree. They're a dollar. And I've got a whole bunch of these because we use them out in our studio when we make custom keepers. It's just great for stacking projects and things that need to be finished. So this is what I'm using. Another good thing to use to gather your supplies are these. Did we all buy these? I think everyone did, didn't we? <laughs> you get these on Amazon. I'll give you a link to these things. And they're just these little thin vinyl um, zipper doodollies that are kind of see-through. And I've got them all over my house. I just use them for everything. I love these. So these are just, you know, ideas for gathering your supplies ahead of time. I've got stuff ready for step one which is paint or ink or just put color of some kind down so i gathered me up some uh like six or seven i don't know americana deco art um paints just acrylic craft paints and then some neons because those are fun and i'm gonna apply them with cards so I've got those and then I've got some sheets of wax paper 
to put between my pages so they won't stick if uh, I get too heavy handed with the paint. So there's step one. Step two is um, collage um, texture stuff like scraps and ephemera and you know just texture pattern things of interest so i've got some tissue paper i've got some product packaging i've got some stuff and junk and scrap painty paper and, and coffee dyed paper and this is all fairly lightweight nothing too bulky because i've got more steps to go after this so i try not to put anything you know super bulky down in this level I keep it kind of thin because after that it's stamps and stencils and I'm gonna use I have my own line of stencils now through a colorful life designs and I've got I think one of each of those here that I'm gonna use you can see I haven't even played with my own stencils yet <laughs> yeah okay life's been hectic can I just say that <laughs> We're going to do that today. We're going to break these guys in. I've got a couple stencil brushes, and then I've got black and white craft paint. And then I've got the next one is focal images and words and phrases. So I've got some of both. Some things that I can use as, you know, kind of a pop in the middle focal point, And then maybe some uh, words to go with it. Just you know, pulled stuff out that I thought I might use. And the last one is pen and pencil and doodling and ink and detail work. So that's if you want to add some little doodles or scribble a border or draw some flowers or whatever. So I've got some paint pens and markers and uh, drawing pens for that. Okay, so those are our five steps. I've already pulled my supplies for each one, so I won't be wasting time. My images, I, if there was anything I pulled out that needed to be fussy cut, I fussy cut that ahead of time. So I'll be ready to go. I am going to use the timer. And y'all know, you know, I designed journaling by fives to be kind of an exercise in loosening up and getting rid of the white page syndrome and not overthinking. And the timer is crucial if you overthink so much that it stumps you and, and like you can't even get anything down because you're second guessing yourself constantly as to what goes and what looks right and is this composition good. If you're an overthinker, use that timer. A lot of people complain about the timer because it stresses them. I get it. Totally. I get it. <laughs> But if you want, if you have that problem with overthinking and it just stymies your creativity, use the timer. Because it, it doesn't give you time to, to overthink. You've just got to get your stuff down. So um, you can do that. If the timer is just like now, I don't use the timer. I use journaling by fives all the time. Just the basic principles when I'm doing stuff. But I don't use the timer. I don't need it anymore because I don't overthink. I just have given up thinking altogether. <laughs> So it's not a problem. <laughs> so there you go. So basically, don't worry about breaking rules. I was watching some girls the other day, and and they were like, oh, we're cheating. And I thought, no, you're, you're not cheating. You're just customizing it. You're customizing it to meet your needs. And their needs was a game. They had just totally turned journaling by fives into like an art game. It was just, you know, prompts to go by, like like you're picking the stick, pick a stick challenge things where you read the prompt and do what it says, kind of like that. And I just love that. I love that they looked at it as a game. And that's really what inspired me to film this again and to encourage y'all to, you know, don't, don't get so hung up on the rules. Make it a game. Um, if you really need the the growth that it gives you if you're an overthinker and you know just not happy with your arting process then yeah you might want to follow the rules at first but don't get so hung up on the rules that you miss out on the fun of this because it is fun so step one let's get ready i'm going to pull out my paints and my cards and my wax paper. I think what I'm going to do 
is probably just squeeze some of this out on my, I've got this weird palette thing. You can use a, like a craft sheet, that's fine, use whatever. I'm gonna squeeze this out, maybe like we did, remember the Rainbow Unicorn pages? Those were so fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just pretend kinda like we're doing that again maybe, and see what happens. Okay, what have I got here? These are all deco art. This is uh, a bright yellow and bright orange. This is teal mint, desert turquoise, dioxazine purple, and quinacridone magenta. So these are my colors and I think I will just squeeze some out um, and see what happens. Let's put them kind of in a order that makes sense. That order makes sense to me. Okay, I've got just little blobs squished out. Got my thingy here. Got my timer, got my cards, got my deals there. I've got 15 minutes on the clock for step one and I'm not happy with my arrangement. So let's move these over there, scooch that up there, because I need this down here. Okay, ready, set, go. All right. Now, I am just gonna take and just kinda do, oh, see, isn't that pretty? Using the card, I really don't need probably to put wax paper down because um, it spreads it really thin, but just in case, and I will take time between steps to, you know, dry my stuff and all that. Now the 20 pages is just one side of the page, not the back side, but I can always go back in and do that as well. I sometimes will save that for free play, you know? So when everything's finished, I've got it all done, I will go back in and um, leisurely do those back sides. Oh, that's my cover. <laughs> okay, where am I on my timer? I've got, I've still got 10 minutes, nine minutes left. Uh, all right, well. Do a little on the inside covers. Do this one. Get rid of the excess paint. It doesn't take much time at all if you're just slapping colors on. You've got them already, you know, squoze out. Now I can go back. See, I've got these neons out here. And see if I want to add, oops, some neon in there. These tend to be kind of transparent. So, um... They're just really good to kind of slap in there. Okay. See where we are. Three minutes and 30 seconds left. I'm going to cancel because I'm done. <laughs> you can take your whole 15 minutes or if you do it in less time, you can uh, end it when you're done. And I'm done. Okay. I love, love, love the colors. And the way they turned out. Let's go through and see what we've got. And see, these are, they're already dry to the touch. These will need a little bit more time, but they're not sticky, they're just damp. But yeah, these look really good. I will probably, um, Hit them all with the heat gun, just in case, before I move on. 
I don't know. I kind of want to call them finished. <laughs> yeah, I really like this. I need to write these colors down so I don't forget this combination again. It was just total kind of, well, not really random. I did think about it. You know, I wanted some shade of red, some shade of yellow, some blues. Of course, I love a teal or mint color. And then um, I didn't even have a good pink shade in my craft paints. I had to use the, the magenta from the Media Fluid Acrylics. I don't know what happened to all my pink colors, but they're gone. And then I think that the uh, neons over the top at the end added just the right oomph. <laughs> you know, you know that. <laughs> So, there we have it. Now I've got color on all of my pages so they're not as intimidating as they were when they were all white. And that makes it easier for me anyway to put stuff down and not be so nervous about it. You know. I like how many of us look at a brand new solid white journal and think, oh, I don't want to ruin it. You know, I'll put my art in it. I will ruin it with my art. <laughs> Does that ever cross anyone else's mind besides me? Yeah, I know. I think that. So we just need to get over ourselves and not think that. Alrighty now. Step two is our collage background pieces. Um you know, texture and bits. Now, if you're more comfortable doing this before you do the paint, switch up your steps. That's perfectly fine. If you don't like the steps, use other things for them. <laughs> if you don't want to paint, skip that step. You know, do or substitute another um, media that you want to use. That's perfectly fine. These are just what I normally use. So I'm going to do this, and there's nothing about um, gluing fast that is helpful. This is not to see how fast we can glue. So, you know, these are things that really need to be decoupaged down front and back, you know, over and under, but that's going to take a lot of drying time. There's going to be a lot of sticking. I'm not going to mess with that. So while the timer's going, I'm going to use my glue stick because the point of this, like I said, it's not to see how fast you can glue stuff down. It is to see how fast you can make the decision about what to put down and not overthink it. That's the thing that is important. So I just need a glue stick to tack it down and then I'll go back later and mess with, you know, really securing it down. But for now, this is good. I've got a, just a plain old glue stick. I've got my book, I've got my scraps and I've got 15 minutes on the clock. Let's go. All right, <clears throat> and this, no, this is not. I do have some wax paper in here, which typically does not uh, glue down well, you know, because wax paper is a resist. And uh, that might give me some trouble, but that's okay, I'm gonna use it, it can be done. You just have to make sure you glue it good but for now i am just more concerned with getting a little something on each page more than i am concerned about um whatever else i was gonna say i don't really know i lost my train of thought ah, whatever yeah well, why not a lot of these weird strip shaped things. Book pages are good for this, you know, because they just kind of, they're good everywhere. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Can I use that? I'll use that. I will use that here. Like that. Oh, yeah. See, this doesn't take long at all if you're not messing with trying to get everything perfectly glued down. That's just a really good piece right there. Although that's too much play. I don't want to use that. Coffee dyed. Oh yeah, let's break up some of the 
bright colors with some not so bright colors. That's a good idea. I seem to be favoring this bottom section. You noticed? That's where I'm sticking everything. I don't know why. Just kind of around something on here. I have no memory of this page. Did I do this? You know, sometimes I get my stuff mixed up with Happy Mail because people will send me like their painty papers and drop papers and I'm like, ooh, I really want to use that. And I'll throw it in with mine and then I can't tell hers apart. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but hey, you know your stuff's getting used, right? <laughs> I probably pulled too much. I think I have too many choices here. Um which can be a problem. That's why you don't want to just go into your main stash for stuff. You want to pull out some things. You know, you've got 20 pages to cover, so pull out enough for 20 pages and to have a few choices. And then keep in mind the size of your pages that you're working on. Because I pulled out some stuff, some focal images that I thought would be great and then they were like way too big. So keep that in mind but it does help if you pull some stuff out of your stash rather than just going into the whole stash. Yeah, yeah don't give up. Don't look, you know, I look at step two. Don't judge the finished product by what step two looks like because it's going to look, you know, this is the awkward age. And it just hasn't quite, hasn't quite filled out yet. <laughs> but it will. Have faith. It will. Now I'm going to go back through and just glue these down a little better. I'm just going to use some plain white glue. You can use Mod Podge or Elmer's or whatever. I'm pretty sure that what I have is a mixture of I don't even know what. It's white. <laughs> it's white. It says PVA, but I know that I have poured other stuff in here, so there's no telling what's in there. I might need to water down just a little bit. If you're doing this in a group and, you know, you're anxious to get to the next step, then you can wait. Do it later. But... I'm going to go ahead and take care of it now because I can just edit out the waiting part. I may need my wax papers again. And I'll just go through and, you know, go over if there's any that need the underside done like these. Just stick everything down good. Alrighty now. I went through and glued down all my pieces. So everything is glued down and dried. And um, I ran into a little problem right here. Okay. I um, accidentally, you know, as I'm gluing, um, forgot to put the wax paper between two pieces and then I was kind of taking my heat gun and drying as I went so these two that did not have wax paper between them got dried together and super stuck so peeled them apart and I've got a little chunk missing here and some weirdness <laughs> going on I mean I think it looks kind of cool you know this has got kind of some interesting texture and stuff going on <laughs> But totally accidental, and I'm fine with it. I'm just going to keep going, and um, yeah, just work with it. The page is still in there. It didn't pull out or anything, so as long as it's in there, it's good. I'll keep adding to it and see what happens. But our next step, step number three, is stamps and stencils. This is where we add pattern, and I have chosen my own stencils from A Colorful Life Designs 
And if you see anything here that you love, um, which I think you probably will because there's, there's some good ones in here. Uh, not that I'm, because yeah, some of these are just really perfect for what we're doing. These are made from my hand-drawn doodles. If you go over to a Colorful Life Designs and at the checkout, you put the code SHANNON10 in there, I believe you can still get 10% off of your order. I think that code is good all the time. I just forget to talk about it. But anyway, I've got these round ones, and I love anything circular, right? Because, you know, circles are just, they're happy for me. And so I've got several round ones. These are also just the exact right size for ATC coins. So there you go. We've got the circles. We've got this cool flower. Thank you for serenading my people. The graduate. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Yeah, so anyway, pattern, background patterns, and some uh, circly things, and stuff and junk, and we're just going to go for it, see what happens. I'm going to put a blob of white, oops, craft paint on my palette, and a blob of black. It's way too much of both, I have a feeling, so I'm going to add more. <laughs> and <laughs> I've got these brushes, which are, um, I got these like from AliExpress. I was looking for another supplier for those awesome stipple brushes I used to carry in my Etsy shop. They came from China, and my supplier went up on their shipping, like prohibitively. I, I can't do it. And I was looking for a different one and got these brushes to test out. I don't really like them as much, but they're all right. Anyway, that's what that's all about. Um, all right, let me get this here. I've got my paper towel here because, you know, I don't need a lot of paint on the brush to do this. And I've got my wax paper. So let's hit the timer for 15 minutes and go. Now, ooh, this is where I start like overthinking too much, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know that this is going to be the fastest way to do this, and I think white was the wrong color. Oh, I don't know, did okay. Um, and maybe a black pattern right there. I should have thought this through more. See, these brushes are just not like those other ones. They don't work nearly as good. I may switch to sponges. Because this is irritating me. I'm getting too much bleed under, see? So, okay. I should have tested those out before I started. Fortunately, I fortunately I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I had my little sponges here. Oh, maybe I don't. Okay, I'm gonna stop my timer. Pause and go look for my sponges. Found them. Okay, let's see if that does any better. Oh, start my timer back up, resume, and off we go. Let's see. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be better. Yep, I like it. That's why I like, I mean, that's why it does not pop off the page, you know, it doesn't show up real well. But I kind of like just that faint ghost of a 
pattern that it's leaving. It's making me pretty happy. So that's why I keep going back to it. You know, it's not a pattern that pops off the page. It's just sort of blending in. I'm really, really kind of digging it. See, this also gives me something to doodle around in step five. <laughs> so yeah. A lot of my stencils are like that. They're big and open so that you can doodle around them. Because I like that. So I was going to go in and do some white background patterns and then go back around with the black and do some of the circles. But I'm kind of running out of time now. So, just do what I can. And these might smudge a little bit since they're wet and I'm putting them in wax paper. But that's all right. mess here. These ended up being really good for this. Little little spots of patterns. Um, and yeah, like I said, something to doodle around later on. So, glad I chose these. These two need to go in timeout and not sit next to each other. Now, step four is more gluing. So I'm gonna use my glue stick and just tack stuff down. And it is focal images or words and phrases or both, whatever. So I've got some of both, got some focal images, got some words and phrases, and I'm gonna give myself 15 minutes and go. So this is the one that I usually get hung up on, and I think a lot of people do, because, you know, we want to pick just the right thing. So I'm gonna try not to overthink it. I chose my stuff ahead of time, just kind of based on what fit. <laughs> You know, looked through my collage images and stuff and found stuff that just caught my eye and was the right size to go on my pages. And that is important because, uh, you know, some of the, even the words and phrases, I'd pick some out and then notice that, oh, they're way too long. I really need to choose something else. So yeah, I just picked stuff that fit, and then I thought I might want to use, see this already makes like a good focal. So what if I just put some words on there, um, like uh, art's always good, fun, life, I just chose, you know, general, Okay, I chose really badly, apparently, because <laughs> I don't want any of these. <laughs> Maybe dreams. <laughs> oh, see, dreams doesn't really fit. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Bright, shiny, and energized. There. <laughs> oh, did I not start my timer? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> that scared me. I thought, wait, I thought I started the timer. I guess my arm hit it. Put it up 
here maybe. Yeah, I needed to pay closer attention to the size of my focal images and also to the number of them because you don't want to have too many choices, but you want to have choices. Yeah. Okay. Blink. Oh, where's the one with the eye? I should put this there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already put bright and shiny. <laughs> I want to redo. I can't redo. I have got some gluing down to do. I got everything positioned. So now I'm going to do just like I did with the um, collage bits and just go in with my white glue and a brush and try not to glue all of my pages together this time. We are down to step five, the last step, which is pens, pencils, markers. You can use this step to add details to your pages or just some random doodles or outlines. And that's usually what I do, is like a doodle or outline thing. This is another one where you can really <laughs> lose track of time. So just get a little something going on on the page and then move on, okay? So, um, let's set the timer, 15 minutes, and go. I can't remember if I mentioned or not. I've been filming off and on all day literally all day but if I didn't mention it depending on when you're watching this you might be able to get one of these um, one of my handmade journals at a discount they are on sale 15% off through April 23rd 2019 I can't tell where my lines are. Um, in my Etsy shop, which is by Shannon Green, I'll put a link down in the video description. And you can go over there and get 15% off if you want to try these out. No, that didn't go there. Well, that's okay. Yeah, just make lines and get on with your life, Shannon. There we go. Okay. Um, the coupon code is something. I'll, I'll put the coupon code up on the screen <laughs> somewhere because <laughs> I done forgot what it is. The step that comes after this is free play and that's where you can just do what you want. You can go back in and uh, do the steps all over again you know, go through the whole thing again. Or you can do some of the steps. You can add steps. You can ditch the timer. You can just kind of do what you want. And that's when... That's actually kind of the funnest part. Well, of course, it's the funnest part. There's no rules. <laughs> but you get to see what you can do with what you've already started on. Because what you have still might look like a, a disjointed mess, but then you go in and free play and you're, you look at it and you think, now what can I make out of this? And you'll find that you can actually do stuff with it. That I mean, sometimes it's just a perfectly um, finished art journal page or junk journal page or whatever. And then other times it's like a really good starting point for something interesting. You've already got some stuff there that you can work with, so keep at it. Ooh. Okay. I think I've got some pretty good pages in here. Let's do a quick flip through. And I'm actually kind of in my head planning to go ahead tomorrow and do my free play on these. I'll probably film that too, or at least part of it. 
because I've already got ideas in my head of where some of these can go and things that I can add. Some make sense, some don't, and that's all right. They've all got good potential. That was <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so, tomorrow I'll come back, or next video, and work some more on these and see what else I can do with them. But this sure was fun. It just felt kind of like coming home, you know, getting back to your roots. So, you know, I'm going to do the free play. I'll decorate my covers and um, film as much of that as I can. But I think for now, that is all I've got. I hope that you JB5 yourself and, or, <laughs> that sounded bad. <laughs> I don't know what that meant. I hope that you do JB5s for yourself. And if you do film it, film it when you JB5 yourself. <laughs> I've definitely been here too long. It's, I need to go. I need to go have a nap. The end.